Sports. I'm James Sabolski. Well, heading into game number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Well, we've been waiting for this one all day long, and here we go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Quick pass to Clinton. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And he slides it quickly to Edvinson. Moves it around along the half wall. Fires it! How did he stop that one? I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Fires it on net. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Oh, what a save. Look in textbook there. And that's hooked away by Lightning. Let's get the call. The Griffiths have been handed two for interference. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Receives the pass. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And they send it down the ice. Rockford's got the puck. Quick feed to Allen. Rockford's crossed the line and on the attack. That's blocked. The Griffins gain possession along the wall. Rockford's got control of it now here in the offensive end. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Moves it quickly over to Tepley. Into the corner of the attacking area. And he slides it quickly to Strad. Fires it! Turns it aside with the glove. Rockford's power play comes up empty-handed. We're back to even strength on the ice. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. Grand Rapids with possession in their own zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Pad save with ease. Slides it over with pace to Cates. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves it to the middle. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Rockford's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Grand Rapids has the puck. Here's a short pass to Esperance. Blocked in front. And now he moves it quickly to Sorella. With possession along the wall. The Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Edvinson. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Great read in the offensive zone by Del Mastro. Grand Rapids gains a hold of possession. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Great poke check on the reach. Quick pass to Rolston. Cuts to the front. Glove save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Taken by Johansson. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And that's knocked away by Peregrine. Great pass off the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Move the puck in the defensive zone. Grand Rapids has possession of the puck. Along the side, here they come to the neutral zone. Rockford's got the puck. Kaiser stick handling in his own zone. 
And they'll dump it in. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Sini's got the puck in his own zone. and gets nothing for it. Think he'd like that one back. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Past the midway mark of the frame, we've still got zeros on the board. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Picked up along the wall by Gust. Slides the puck down low. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Moves inside! Nice save from point blank range. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Quick feed to Allen. Puck grab by Goodman. Rockford's got the puck in the corner. And he takes a shot. Blocked in traffic. Grand Rapids moves ahead with the puck. There's the physical side. The Ice Hogs are on the attack. Here's a chance. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. They win the draw and go on the attack. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Oh, off the iron. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. What pressure here in the offensive end. Grabs the puck along the wall. Moves it to the half wall. Oh, what a save. Put it to the crease. to establish themselves as a playoff performer while the rookie an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. The Ice Hogs are up by one here in the back half of the opening frame after that strike. Uh, and you know that the strategy has been one thing, put the puck to the net, and they have owned the shot share in the opening frame, no question about it, James. Now they find themselves with a one-goal lead. they got to continue to press to see if they can extend it. On the attack along the boards. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Across the line and on the attack. Denies him with the pad. Knocked off the puck. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Scoops up the puck. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Ice Hogs will play it in their own end. Ralston's got the puck. Takes a shot. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Ice Hogs are now up by two, and they have really looked like the dominant team that we expected them to be here in this opening frame. Yeah, they dictated pace right from puck drop, and they've held possession, and it's the reason why they have a majority of shots on goal, and they've been rewarded for their efforts, James. quickly over to Luck. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Del Mastro's lugging the puck. Dished on over to Cates. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Grand Rapids plays it along the wing. The Ice Hogs have it against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Kaiser. Sorella's got it on the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Hiroshi. 
Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. The Griffin scooping up along the boards. And now it's over to Luff. Handles the puck at the point. Up along the wing. Moves it to Luff. Scores! Wow, the excellence of execution on that one. Yeah, that's a beautiful one-timer, but what I like about it is that he's already said he knows exactly where that puck is coming, and he just wires it home. Well, the goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. Late goings of this period. Grand Rapids is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. And they win that draw at center. Grand Rapids is on the attack. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Quick shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Can't get a hold of that pass. Quick pass to Gutman. Lays into the body. Oh, love the defensive stick work there. Here's a shot. Makes a save. It for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. first 20 minutes. The Wolves with a flat start to that opening frame, James. They really didn't manage the puck. It was real sloppy and scrambly, and they're going to have to find a way to correct that if they want to get back in this game. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Rocks them. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And he's ready for that save. I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick, he lets it go for the tally. The Ice Hawks have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. Grand Rapids gains a hold of it. Scrum along the wall. Good check. Freeze the puck up. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Pushes it across to Del Mastro. Grand Rapids gets the puck near the boards. The Griffins have it now. Grand Rapids plays it against the boards. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Comes up with a stop. Scooped up along the wall by Strand. Rockford's got the puck in the defensive end. Allen's going to play it against the half wall. Sends the pass down low. Stopped with ease. From the place 99 made famous. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Tosses it on to Bergren. And he had an answer with that save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Rockford's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. 
The Ice Hogs win it in the defensive zone. Rockford's looking to break out. Works it across to Sorella. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Rockford's won the draw. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, blocked down by Hutchinson. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. Beargren's got it in the offensive zone. Great heads up play by the defender. Rockford's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. And hang on to the biscuit after that. Grand Rapids has it in the defensive end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Rockford's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. The Griffins win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff hole. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Grand Rapids finally gets the break they need, and they are on the board. It's amazing how one goal can make such a difference and change the temperature of the game. They started flat, body language wasn't good, and look at them now. They're all standing up. You can see the smiles and the positive vibe. This next shift is important. The Griffins have played from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Spezia has got it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Throws it in. Puck scooped up by Del Mastro. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Shot! And that's blocked in traffic. Hutchinson's gonna hang on for a whistle. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Griffins still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Quick feed to Gust. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The Ice Hogs win the faceoff. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Griffins gain control of the puck against the wall. Now a quick pass to Bergren. Takes the feed. And he slides it quickly to Hirose. Through center. Moves the puck to Luck. And now it's grabbed by Gutman. And he gives it over to Gust. Rockford's got it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Gutman. That's on the stick. Moves it quickly over to Gust. Takes the pass. There he is from the slot. Glove save! What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that glove save. More than half the frame has been played here. 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Griffins gain the zone. Puck picked up by Strand. Keeps a hold of it on the play. Here's a short pass to Lipen. Poked away in the defensive end. Good use of the body on the play. Rocked him in the open ice. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Rockford's got the puck against the half wall. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. 
That's sent in deep, and the forwards will change. Moves it to Rolston. Slides it to Sorella. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. A chance in front. And it's blocked. Taken it along the wall by Shy. Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. Moves it on over to Cates. Looking to make something happen at center. Sorella's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The trailing by one, and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. When the power play isn't working, you have to adjust. You gotta get net front presence, take away the eyes of the goaltender. And what it does is it also draws defensive coverage to you. More traffic in front, more lanes open for the shooter. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. What an opportunity, a long five-on-three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Quick pass to Del Mastro, and he slides it quickly to Gust. The Ice Hogs carry it along the wall. Scrum along the boards. The Griffins gain control of the puck. The Ice Hogs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pass across to Koopman. Taken by Del Mastro. Shine's penalty has expired, but they remain short-handed, and he joins the kill. It's in! They score on the power play! Now listen, you have the player advantage. You've got to get someone in the eyes of the goaltender there, and I like that the shooter waited until the net front presence was there, and guess what? They converted. Rockford's been the dominant team all night, and look at this, a two-goal lead here late in the second. Yeah, they've worked hard, and really they've been the dominant team, and what's shown on the scoreboard is exactly the way it should be, and they'll be heading into the intermission, and this is one of the things I didn't like as an athlete. When you were playing well, I didn't want to rest. I wanted to keep going at it. The Ice Hogs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Cini. Moves the puck into the D zone. The Griffins move it ahead. Puck battle along the boards. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Luff. Shot! And the puck skips off the goal! Makes a save again! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Here in the later stages of this period, the Ice Hogs now lead by two. Grand Rapids takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick shot! Blocked in traffic. And the goaltender makes an easy glove save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Rockford's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. And off the draw, they win possession. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Sorella's got it along the wing. challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Steps in front of that one. Oh, 
looks frustrated after they hit the pipe and the puck comes all alone. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Rockford's probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. Moves it quickly over to Rafferty. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Cheryl, 40 minutes into books now played. How do you view this one? The Wolves coach won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent has taken it to them because it... He's got a step! Stopped by the goaltender. The Griffins gain possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. along the wall by Gettinger. Here he is on the backhand! Solid check to slow him down. Jostled off the puck. Sini's gaining momentum. Grand Rapids has it in their own zone. Coming to the front of the net! Oh, he got pummeled by Stopper! This shot's coming from the middle of the ice and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Rockford's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Tepley. And there's the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Ice Hogs have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Grand Rapids takes possession off the draw. Lutz got it into offensive territory. Tepley's taking it from his own end. Rockford's got it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Leipen. Puts it on net. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. There's a shot. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Line change. Let's see the call here. Well, I just had a gander at the bench and the energy in the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. I love the 1-3-1 one, one set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And the puck skips out of the zone, they'll be forced to tag up. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. James, this power play has not been effective at all, and you can see they're 200 feet from the zone. They have to find a way to have some urgency, gain some speed through the neutral zone so they can get in and get set up. Grand Rapids 
gets a hold of the puck shorthanded. Puts it on there, keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Berggren's almost back on the ice. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know, I was never on it, always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. Denies it in front. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Drives to the paint! Kaiser's taking a nasty whack, and that's gonna draw a penalty. Let's see what the officials say. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Cut save. He's on it tonight. Hopeless is moving the puck through his own zone. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Knocks the puck loose. Feeds it over to Tepley. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. And let's see what the call is. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. The Ice Hogs went up five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement more often. That's exactly what you have to do. They get it out of the defensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Kaiser. Moves it up through the middle from the right. The Griffins have possession shorthanded. They move the puck out of harm's way. Poked away at center by Bear Grin. Grand Rapids gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Griffins looking against the half wall. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Tepley's exploring options with the puck. The Griffin's PK unit delivers in a big way. You know how often that this PK has been practiced together, and you know that the coach is liking this. Every time they go out there, they know exactly what they're doing. They're reading off one another, and you have to have chemistry. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. Rockford's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Standing tall with the save. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Rockford's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. And they win the draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Rolston. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the inside of the post. Rockford's players are continuing to press, and I really like this about their game, James. Yes, they just wired one off the post, but they're playing with the lead. They're continuing to attack. They're not sitting back at all. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Here in the back half of this period, the Ice Hogs lead at 5-2. Rockford's won the faceoff deep in their own end. And he takes the feed. Right away! Oh, on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Quick shot! Resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Great read with the stick. 
The Griffins play it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Grabs the puck. Sends it quickly to Edvinson. Takes a shot with the stop. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. There's a great glove save by Hutchinson. Rockford's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Rockford's got the puck. Goose's got it in the defensive end. Great reach by Peregrin. Here he is, wrists it on net. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a 5-2 hockey game. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. Oh, what a save in front! Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. Rockford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James, just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. And that's blocked away. Takes it and looks ahead. And that's tipped away by Del Mastro. And it's a quick pass to Tepley. Moves along the boards with some purpose. And he loses control of the puck. Grand Rapids with possession in their own zone. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Ice Hogs take it along the wall. Grand Rapids takes hold of the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Perosi's penalty is almost expired. Made the stop on the play. The Ice Hogs move the puck in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck down low. Quick pass to Kaiser. Hammers the shot. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. Rockford's coaches will be happy with this game so far, James. They're generating a lot of shots. They're in the lead. Yeah, they've run them off the post a number of times, but you got to expect when you have possession and you're driving the net, you're going to get another one. The Griffins will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Luck. Good read with the stick to break that up. And the crowd's on there. just a fabulous shot when you're in that high slot area you know that you're gonna be closed upon quickly so you gotta have a quick release that's the first thing and the second thing is the accuracy if it's quick and it's on you're gonna score the ice hogs wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game they have done just that and then some here in the third rockford's won the face off at center the Ice Hogs play it along the boards. Quick snap! Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. Hogs haven't stopped putting pucks on net, and they lead it here late in the third. And they win that neutral zone draw. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Neither team give it an inch in this series, and one shows a little momentum, the other 
counter strikes perfectly, Cheryl. What a series we've got here on our hands. Well, it's all about the response, and, and no one's giving the inch. No one's budging here. So this is going to go right down to the wire. And everyone knows that it's tied. And as you look ahead, it's getting to be a shorter and shorter series. So the energy, the intensity, although everyone's physically banged up, it is going to go through the roof in Game 5. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.